Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are in Ireland and we're in an Irish pub, funnily enough. Uh, we talked to some of the locals. This guy obviously worked at the dig site at some point, but is pretending not to have. But these guys have pretty much confirmed that he did. So we've still got to speak to the uh, the barkeep here. We've got to speak to this guy who keeps coughing and spluttering over in this corner. And then I think we'll go back to this guy and see if he will finally own up to the fact that he was working at the dig site. And then maybe we can check out the dig site as well. I don't know. But let's start with barkeep over here and see what he's got to say for himself. Barkeeps always know the gossip, the right? Morning to you. Oh, dear. I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or you're just flaunting your xenophobia. <laughs> well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? Uh, no info, actually. No, thank you. I don't plan to stay too long. Who does? Most folk take one look at Loch Martin and jump back on the bus. Uh, do you know anything about a clown? Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first to do <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Uh, what about this guy? Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? Oh no, I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram stay here? Yes, he oh. did. Six nights plus breakfast. And then he didn't pay, right? So that's, that's quite a bit of money, I would assume. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and warm with bits in, and it makes you fall. <laughs> <laughs> it's an acquired taste, I'll say that much. I quite like ale, but I know a lot of people don't. Well, we didn't fall over, which is good. Know this guy? Do you recognize this man? No, I don't. What do you want with him? I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, mister. If it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth. Ah. According to Mahoney, it develops character. Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? Dial. Sorry, Michael. I was miles <laughs> away. What did you say? Ah, never mind. All right, well, I, d I don't think he's necessarily going to be interested in any of this Look, other stuff. I gotta be going. So... That, that didn't really give us too much information at all, to be honest with you. But I think we can safely say now that Khan slash uh, Merlin has not been to Ireland, which is a good thing. Let's talk to this guy uh, and hopefully not catch whatever he's got. Hi there, old timer. What? Ugh, gross. Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father says I... Oh, no. <laughs> why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Ah. Colonosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. Oh god, okay, what is that? Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can Why do. Why are you in here then? <laughs> can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Doc Barn Castle is hard. So we've heard. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Okay, well, let's ask more about the ghost. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Lochmar? That'll be the day. No. 
That was a ghost, to be sure. Okay. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lost. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they mistook each other for the ghost. Brilliant. Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know him. Uh, what is this thing? What's that you're making? It's a necklace, Nipoko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover peels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. Is he a hunter? <laughs> I'm guessing he's like creating a little, like a little um, rabbit snare or something. Uh, seen this guy before? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? I can't tell without my glasses. Oh, that's not very helpful. All right, well. I'll see you later. I guess now we know that there's very likely not a ghost, which we probably suspected. Now let's confront this guy. What was his name? Sean, was it? I thought, whoa, what happened there? Mr. Fitzgerald? Uh, got some... Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. He's seen you there. You might as well admit it. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. Don't I lie, then. I to talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too, if I'm right. You're not from the social security. Mm -mm. Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was working for Pegram. I'm not in a position to make judgment, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? Right, tell us more. So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marquet. Marquet? Why do we keep, like, glitching around this table? Show me what's in the package, Sean. I, I can't do that. Yes, Why you can. Not? I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? You don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. All right, just come on. Tell us otherwise we're going to report you for benefits fraud. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? The man from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. Jacques Marquet. I mean, it doesn't look like Khan, but we know he goes by other names, so it could be. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Give the package to me. No. Why should I trust you? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Logmarn gem. Ah, oh, he's doing a runner. Get back here. What was that? Did he get... Hey, I just seen a big red. Get out of here, Maguire. Come back when you're old enough. <laughs> What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out. <laughs> Why don't you care that he's been run over? <laughs> You should send out some medicinal brandy maker. What? Oh yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. Uh I've just noticed this guy puts this down. When he coughs. Can we pick that up? He seems when he coughs, he seems to put that little thing down. I wonder if we can grab it. Let's uh Let's just try this for a second. Yeah, we can, look. <gasps> as soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed this piece of wire. I mean, he's gonna... How did he not know that we took that? <laughs> that is very strange. Okay, it's lucky that I saw that, actually. I'm guessing that's gonna come in useful. I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. Okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. I was standing here, minding my own business, when I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Would you look at that, says I, and I going over to take a closer look. Next thing, 
Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies at him. It was too fast oh. for poor old Fitzy. And hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out. And I couldn't believe my eyes. So it could be Marquet. He was dressed like a bloody pixie. <gasps> It's the pixie costume. So it's him. He he is here. Khan. He he lent he rented a leprechaun suit. It's got to be him, right? Was it this guy that you saw? Hey, Maguire. What? Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. Interesting. Let's ask about the leprechaun. Does this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. Hmm. Did Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. Maybe the package fell somewhere out of sight. Oh, maybe. Let's, see you later, kid. Let's see. Okay, mister. Let's see if it went somewhere. So we can go up here. Uh, let's try going down into this into the road, if possible. No. Oh, I don't suppose it went down here. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Uh, okay. What's that? What the hell is this thing? I pushed the switch down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. Oh. Okay. Uh, huh. But where is the switch? It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. So we okay. Hang on. What did what did that do then? All the lights and everything are still on. Oh, unless is that the lock for this or something? Nope. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Can we like zap it with this thing? Nope. Uh, can we use our little thing? Nope. Okay. So, can we go this way? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, so the package might have fallen out of sight, but it's not really anywhere. I mean, unless it went up here, but I doubt it. Oh god, okay, there is another area up here it turns out. So, there's some sort of door. Let's talk to this guy, then. Hi, do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox, indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. <laughs> okay. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me, or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, ask about the castle. What can you tell me about the castle? Not much, I'm sorry to say. Most of its history is long forgotten. Ah, but if these old stones could only speak, what stories they'd tell. Stories to make your toes curl and your blood run cold. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. So are we at the castle? Is this the castle here then? Because he's saying this castle as if we're actually there. Have you seen Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. Alright, what about this sports car? Do you know anything about that? Did you happen to see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. How does George know it was a Ferrari based on what the kid said? The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car <laughs> was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Yeah, I think it was done on purpose. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew. 
Oh. The idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Yeah. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. <laughs> In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. Fair point. Fair point. I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right. But what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. Ah. It's a moral dilemma. Um, is Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It would need some thinking about um, it. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. What? <laughs> Seriously? You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for We shore. can watch it. I'll stay here in your place. And warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. You do that. And while you're gone, we'll do exactly what you suggested. Rode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. Yeah, we'll we'll try and climb this in the next one then, I guess. But I tell you what, guys, we're out of time, so we'll do that in the next episode. We we are at the castle, it turns out. I didn't realise it was so close to the bar. Um, so I'm guessing this is probably locked, and we're going to have to find a way to climb up this or something. We're also going to have to find where that package went. Um, I, I'm wondering if it went down that little drain thing, but I, it seemed too big from the picture that it was showing us on the conversation. But maybe it's not. Maybe it was a little tiny parcel. I don't know. We will find out maybe in the next one, maybe in a future one. I don't know. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.